Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to install the PSP emulator on your iPhone. Install it and set it up and run any PSP game you want. It's actually pretty easy to do. Just follow the few simple steps that I will show you guys in this video. Now, as you probably know, Apple has actually opened the doors for the emulators to be on the App Store and has made things very, very easy. Now, the first thing you want to do is head on and download this app from the app store you can find it linked of course right down below in the description of the video is the ppsspp app which is the psp emulator for your device once you have downloaded the app now you will have to download the games now for obvious reasons i won't be able to show you guys how to get the games but you can download them very easy just make a simple search and you're good to go now once you have downloaded the games from safari they will be saved on your files app they will be saved either on your iphone or on your iCloud Drive, of course, based on which location you have chosen to save your downloads. If you don't know that, or if you want to change it, you can head on to your settings, go under the Safari settings, and right here at the downloads, you will have iCloud Drive, and on my iPhone, you can choose a location where you want to download your stuff. Now, once you have downloaded the games, as I said, you will be able to find them on the downloaded folder. Now, as you can see right here, these are saved into a zip file now you will need to unzip these in order to load them into the game now if it's a zip file a simple zip file it will be very easy you just tap on it and the files app will unzip it as easy as that it will turn it into an iso file which is the one that we need for the game but if it's a 7z or another format of zip that you won't be able to unzip right here we'll need to use another app and the app is this one right here it is called iZip you can again download it by simply clicking the link right down below in the description of the video it's also a free app now in that case you will be able to unzip any other zip file simply by tapping and holding on it tap the share button and right here on the menu tap on iZip it will take you into the app just tap here on OK, so OK, just like that. Wait here for a few seconds. And there we have now the file unzipped. Just select it as easy as this, tap the share button, and from here tap on save to files. You can go ahead and save it anywhere you want here on the files app. I would recommend that you go ahead and save it under the PSP folder right here. So you tap right there. PSP, there we have the game folder, tap on save, and now you have the game there unzipped. Again, this will be only for files that are not a simple zip files. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and again, as I said, just tap on it and unzip it right here on the files app without the need of the other app. And now it's time to launch the emulator app and also load the game into the app. That's pretty simple as well. Let me show you guys how you do that. Now that you have downloaded and unzipped the game, it's very easy to play it. Just open the app. This is what you will see right here. You can see here you have a load button. Just tap on it. It will take you to your files app and just browse and find the game file that you have saved. Here we have the ISO file, so you will need to load this one, not the zip file. We tap on it and as easy as that, as you can see, we have now the game here loading on our device. As you can see, we have everything here and the game is actually pretty, pretty easy to launch and play on your device. As I said, like this, you can get any game, any PSP game and play it on your iPhone. As you can see, it's actually fairly simple to do and with the ability to download the emulators from the App Store, Apple has made things much, much easier. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.